Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm back at the master plan community of Esperanza, just eight minute drive from downtown Bernie. Absolutely love this community. Earlier today, I shot a video tour of the amenities uh, with my daughter, and uh, I can't wait to have that posted. She's freaking adorable. Anyways, behind me is a house being built for one of my out-of-state clients by Coventry Homes, and it should be closing sometime in August of 2022. Right now, we're mid-July 2022, so yeah. Let's go check out the progress. This is a nice home. Definitely got work left to do. Um, but while I was shooting the amenities tour, one of the sales rep for the de development told me about the amazing pond that's actually in this section of Esperanza. And it's just a couple of blocks down here that you can go fishing in too. So it's really quite cool. But this is uh, all these little mini communities inside Esperanza are gated. And uh, yeah this is bernie isd which is an amazing school district but uh yeah let's head inside this gorgeous well soon to be gorgeous home built by coventry homes absolutely love the rock finish with well, it's very texasy look but you can tell they've got they're gonna have the stucco and rock combination which is pretty much my favorite combo I'm not a huge fan of the regular brick and stone but i do like the stucco and stone look so you do have a nice little sitting area out here. They do have the finished product door, but no doorknobs yet. So we can just go on inside. And they can do that because there's no appliances and not even any electricity yet. So right, right when you come in, you do have a nice wide hallway with really tall ceilings right up front is the perfect location for an office because there's no closet but yeah they got the french doors for your office space you do have a bedroom up front as well with a good size closet And then here is the bathroom that's gonna be both, I keep wanting to turn the lights off and on, uh, open to the public and those bedrooms. We're gonna need light fixture there and a big shower. Really nice. All right, coming into the main living space. Big, look at how big this is a giant island. And that is a big, big island. Good look at the kitchen. I love the pendant lighting that they have up there. It's gonna be super neat. And lots and lots of can lighting is gonna be in there. But if we get power on here, this is gonna light up really nicely. But yeah, those are pretty cool pendant lighting. My clients did a good job selecting those. But you do have the herringbone style subway tile with a little dimensions to them so they're not perfectly flat this is a gas community there is your gas outlet they have a single basin stainless steel sink i love how balanced it is so you're looking for the sink got the pendant right in front of you and then the back door i'm a little silly when it comes to stuff like that Refrigerator is going to be off to the right. Big, big formal dining room section with lots of light. We'll get a good look at what their light fixture is looking like. And you can tell, the last time I did a video tour, this had, was still there. And that's been like uh, two months ago, last time I did a video tour of this house, and it's still there. Okay, come on Coventry, get that fixed. All right. Sneaking off here is your pantry. Plenty sized pantry. Just tucked away a little bit because this is your garage. And a really big, sorry if it's a little dark, um, utility room for washer and dryer. Like a little closet space maybe for your broom racks. And another closet there. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. Because you got a closet for your brooms and vacuum cleaner and stuff. 
But yeah, let's check out this garage. This is a three car garage because they've got it set up in a tandem style to where you can either put another car in here. Good to see they've got the dual water heater so you're never gonna run out and a uh, plumb for water softener. But if you only have two cars, you can use this as a storage space, workspace, whatever you wanna do with it. So that's always quite convenient because look at this edge of the garage door. This can be a little bit of a tight fit side by side garages. I mean, trying to put two cars in there. All right, let's continue the tour to this part of the house. Nice tall ceilings in here. We do have a, another bedroom tucked away. Oh, maybe two bedrooms tucked away back here, yes. So this is bedroom number, well, they got three bedrooms and then the master bedroom. So yeah, this one's gonna have a nice little nook there. Decent sized closet, nothing special about it. You do have uh, a shared bathroom. Ah, I left the toilet seat off, damn it. I didn't pre-walk this house good enough. All right. Okay, and then the other bedroom. So yeah, if you got the two kiddos and put them back in these bedrooms, have a guest bedroom up front and the master bedrooms on the other side of the main living space. Definitely like this little shelf here. We'll put some pillows up there, and have a little reading space, whatever you want to do. Kind of same size closet as the other one. All right, let's go check out the outside. Now I'm gonna, I don't have the square footage and stuff memorized right off the top of my head, but I'll get that information and put it in the description box. All right, we have lots of nice size covered patio space, plumb for gas, super tall. That light will be uh, wired for being able to put a ceiling fan out here. So you can see they use the wrought iron fences, so it's not gonna be the big heavy privacy fences. So yes, you will be able to see your neighbors, but maybe they're super cool neighbors that you wanna be able to hang out with. But uh, you see where that fence line stops and where that corner is. You get an idea of just how the depth of this yard and it's gonna go back that way. The sun's gonna be setting kind of off to the side. That's important because you don't want the sun melting your face if you're trying to have happy hour on the back porch. I know I say that in so many videos, but it is so important, especially here in Texas. Especially because right now it's 100 degrees outside. And as that sun creeps around, it's, well, it's 445 right now. So that sun's starting to go down, but it's the hottest part of the day. All right, owner suite or master bedroom, whichever you want to call it. Lots of great lighting in here. I love having these extra lights on the side there. It does have the step sitting out there, and this can be really energy efficient homes. Coventry takes their sweet time building them, but they do build a very energy efficient house. All right, nice flooring in there, but man, this shower is gorgeous. Got, this actually is the mud inset shower where you're stepping down to kind of carve it out of the foundation. They took the tile all the way up to the ceiling. Love that, really gives a high-end feel to this shower. You do have the uh, dual vanities all in one row. Can't wait, my next video, there will be power in this. Hopefully it's probably gonna be just before they close on the house to do the final video tour and see if there's the open toilet again. This is my third video of the day, guys. I did not pre-walk this house. So yeah, that's what you get, you get open toilets. But this is a really good size master bedroom closet. Nice size closet going all the way around and a little more space on that side.
And yeah, I don't know, did I show off this flex bedroom, this flex room here? I'm not sure if I did. So if I did, forgive me, but yeah, you do have this space here where you can use this as a media room. Cause we already got an office up at the front. So yeah, you can close these doors off, use this as a little media space. I don't see an extra TV jack in here, but any cable company can do that. So if you're trying to watch a game, the sun, however, is, you can see it coming in, does set in here. But if you have some blackout curtains, you can do that and still use this as a little additional media room, uh, a secondary office. If both, you, both the owners are working from home, that'd be kind of nice too. All right, that's gonna do it for the tour of this beautiful Coventry home. Uh, this house is gonna be really nice once it's completed and hopefully get it done by the middle or end of August, because I'm super excited for them. And I like to do these videos for my clients so they can get an idea of what this house looks like throughout different stages of the build process. So I definitely appreciate my clients reaching out to me and allowing me to be their realtor. And uh, if you know someone wanting to use me as a realtor, the best way to do that is to click in the description box. There's going to be a link to my calendar when you set up a Zoom phone call or a regular phone call. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And of course, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, that's going to do it for today. Take care now. Bye.